Liverpool, why have they struggled? And what is next? Liverpool manager Brendan Rodgers was close to landing the Premier League title this time last year. A 3-2 win at Norwich leaving the Reds five points clear at the top of the table with three games remaining. Fast forward 12 months and Sunday's FA Cups and the final defeat by Aston Villa means Rodgers has become the first Enfield boss since the 1950s not to win the trophy in his first three seasons in charge. So why have things gone so poorly after such a spirited challenge for the title last season? And as a result of this season's labors, will Rodgers still be on Merseyside next season? Here, former Liverpool players, an ex-manager, fans and pundits tell BBC Sport what's gone wrong, and what should happen next. Analysis BBC Sport's Ben Smith at this stage, I'm told that Liverpool's American owners have no plans to sack Brendan Rodgers. There is, of course, disappointment at the manner of the defeat at Wembley but also the recognition that some 12 months ago, Liverpool were within spitting distance of the Premier League title. Their faith was tested in late November, but having coming through that difficult period, he is still their man. There is no question that FSG admire Jurgen Klopp, but at this stage have no plans to make a change. One thing worth remembering, Rogers' current deal would mean that even if FSG were to lose faith in their manager, it could cost as much as pounds 10 m to sack him. And the same again to hire a replacement. Who's to blame for Liverpool's trophyless season? Five-time Liverpool title winner Mark Lawrenson, when you have young players then you are going to have highs and lows. No one was moaning when they were on a 13-match unbeaten leg run between December and March. The absence of Daniel Sturridge to injury has hurt them. Look at Chelsea. They haven't looked the same without Diego Costa. I'm not saying Sturridge is the same, 